determining way to deal with hurt feelings. Hello Swans, I'm Yvonne, your marriage and divorce coach here at Black Swan Relationship Academy. And today we're going to look at ways of dealing with hurt feelings. Unfortunately, if you're in, an, in a relationship, your feelings get hurt. Regardless of what you do or how wonderful we are, somebody will say something that is going to say something that will cause your feelings to be hurt. Is it that the person is being totally and utterly uncaring? They, uh, you know, do it and we think he's done it again or she's done it again or whoever they are, they've said it and they've done something that has caused us to, um, you know, want to throttle them. But because we're high value and because we're feminine, we take it on the chin. It's that, you know, it's the British way. It's the stiff upper lip and all of that that goes with it. Um, you know, and there comes a time when you think to yourself, I don't want to take it on the chin anymore because you know what they keep saying that and I'm you want to say something but you think if I say something then they're not going to understand what I'm saying they're going to get upset by it so we let it slide and we keep letting it slide but today we're not going to let it slide anymore there are a few things that we can do that is going to change this and turn it all around for us one of the things that we can do is if you're having a conversation with your boo and you see in that conversation that things are going um, south. It's going a way that you recognize that, um, you know, he's going to say something or they're going to say something that is going to be offensive. One of the things that you can do is say, you know what, let's just stop there for a minute. I'm taking myself out of this and I'll speak to you in a little while and you can walk away. When you walk away, don't just walk away and leave it. Calm down count to 10, do whatever it is that you need to do. Take um, deep breaths. The other day, um, whilst I was uh, doing some training, we learned how to uh, breathe and what breathing does is it, um, you know, opens the mind, it opens uh, the body. And when you get, you know, oxygen going through your body again, it kind of wakes you up and, you know, uh, gets rid of some of the, uh, the, the fuzziness that's going on in our head. You know, so walk away, take a few deep breaths and, you know, go back and speak to uh, the person and let them know, actually, what you said and or what you did, I didn't like it. It hurt my feelings. We've been taught as women that to be vulnerable is not the way forward, that it's almost like vulnerability is a dirty word to us, that we must always take it on the chin. But who said so? It's, you know, it didn't work then and it's not going to work now. So allow yourself to be vulnerable with your boo, with whoever it is that you are in the relationship with. And they're the ones that's causing you to feel this way because nobody wants to feel less than they are worth. No one has a right to make anyone feel bad about themselves. No one has a right to make you feel that, you know, why are you here? You know, each and every one of us are here. We've come together for a reason. And if the person that you're with and it is their reason in life is to make yours a misery and nothing you do or say is going to help you and your relationship is uh, so toxic that you cannot find yourself in it then my suggestion to you would be to seek professional help speak to a therapist or a counselor who's going to be able to help you to navigate your way either in um, you know uh, the relationship that you're in or to help you to navigate something that is going to work for you, that is going to make uh, you be the person that you want to be. If that's not the case for you and you are just tired of your person, you know they love you, you know they care for you, you know they want your very best, but every so often they say that word or they do that thing that just makes you think, mm. tell them. Because unless you open your mouth and speak, then they're not going to know. Tell them. You can't blame someone for doing something that you've never told them that I don't like this or, you know, I don't want this. We're adults at the end of the day. And as an adult in a relationship with someone, with someone who loves and cares about you, you can speak up. You can say, 
I don't like that. I don't like when you do this. It makes me feel this way. And guess what? Your boo loves you and he wants the very best for you. He wants you to thrive in the atmosphere, in the home that you're in. He wants the atmosphere to be, um, you know, filled with music and laughter. You know, the atmosphere must be wonderful in your home. Your home must be a place that you can't wait to get home to because number one, you can't wait to see him, the children, whatever it is, even when there's upset, you still want to go home. It's not the case of, you know, um, there was a time when I got to the top of my road and I dreaded going in the house because I didn't know what Moody was going to be in and just the very thought of going to the front door filled me with dread you know and if that's not what is happening for you then guess what speak let him know that what you're doing here is not right have um you know put a system in place that whenever you're having an argument and you know or whether um you're having a disagreement that you can't find a common ground that you can come together on if you see that it's going to go away in which you don't want it to go the word is that you would say to them or whatever words it's going to work for you do you know what i'm going to take myself away let's come back in a little while and talk about this again and move yourself away take yourself away breathe do whatever it is you need go for a walk um get on with something do something else but don't just don't talk about it now when you decide to come back together again then come back together and you know talk about it um you know if you've got to cry then do so because believe it or not when men see women cry it kind of they're kind of oh my gosh oh my gosh what did i do what did i say they it surprises them especially if you don't it's not something that you're doing every second of the day it's you know not it's something that maybe for years they haven't seen you and all of a sudden here you are crying and it's something that he's done my goodness that's going to cut him to the quick and that's going to make him stop and think my sweetheart no this is not oh and he will do everything he possibly can to make your world right again give him the opportunity to show you that he cares about you and he wants you to be the high value feminine woman that he knows you are. He doesn't want you to be hurt. He doesn't want to hurt your feelings. He doesn't want you to think that you are not the woman that he's married to. And he doesn't want you to think any less of yourself. He wants you to be happy in your home. He wants you to be happy with him. He wants there to be joy. He wants you to love and like him and for, you know, it to be well with the two of you. Speak your truth and let him know what is going on. Let him know that, you know, this can't happen again. If there's anything that I've said here that resonates with you and you'd like to know more, there are two things that you can do. What I can advise you to do is to um, log on to blackswanrelationshipacademy.com and go uh, to the shop and look at the feminine master, I'm sorry, the masterclass on how to speak to a man so that they will listen. In there, you will. Uh, there are modules that will teach you how to speak to your boo, so that not only will he listen to you, but how he will open up to you. There are. All, there's also another module that you would, um, you know, be interested in. Um, delving more into where it teaches you the words that you can use to how to resolve conflict in uh you know the relationship there's a uh, also what you can do is once you've looked at that there it will teach you things that you can know more about yourself because in all of this to thine own self you've got to be true there are things that we um, operate on the things that we do we operate from a, per, a place of yesterday unfortunately yesterday being that which happened to us when we were younger that which happened to us in our teenage years or what happened to us as we were coming through and unfortunately as we're growing and situation and things happen we are informed by that yesterday's pain unfortunately inform our today and that's how we navigate around life and it's how we deal with anything that comes up and what the um, the relationship masterclasses will teach us is to look at the relationships that happened when we were younger. And what the Soulmate Attraction course does is it teaches us how to be true to self. It enables us to look at self so that we can operate from a place of being whole than operate from a place of hurt feelings, of yesterday's pain. So 
what I'd like you to do is if if you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment and join me next Saturday for my next video. It was great speaking to you lovely swans again. You enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye bye.